And now I'd like to invite Heidi Rixman to come up. Heidi, again, is the Chief Development Officer of Lutheran Services for the Carolinas, and Heidi is our special guest this morning to talk a little bit more about the Be the Light campaign. Thank you, Heidi. Good morning. Again, my name is Heidi Rixman, and I'm the Chief Development Officer at Lutheran Services Carolinas, and I'm here this morning to share a brief message with you. St. Paul's is currently participating in the Be the Light campaign that will raise at least $4.2 million to enhance and expand LSC programs across North Carolina. Today our focus is on children and families in need of care. Imagine a children being removed from the only home she has ever known. Even though she endured abuse at the hands of her parents, she still loves and misses them. She is separated from her siblings and her friends. She gathers a few belongings in a bag, leaves behind the life she knows, and moves into a foster home with someone she does not know. She cannot fully understand the situation. Now imagine nearly 11,000 similar scenarios, one for each child currently in foster care in our state. It is here in one of the darkest moments of a child's life that LSC and its carefully trained foster parents become a hopeful part of their story. This morning I'm going to also share another story with you. Michael's foster care journey began at the age of five while he and his mother were living in New York when his mother met a guy that appeared to be pretty cool. Michael shared, it all changed in the blink of an eye. He became malicious and started manipulating us. I was sexually, physically, and emotionally abused. The abuse continued for five years as the family bounced back and forth to different shelters. Michael's mom was an alcoholic and she didn't know the details of the abuse. Eventually things boiled over and, event and following one yelling argument, Michael decided to tell his guidance counselor the whole story. Michael shared, I felt like we were about to die, like he was going to kill us. I walked in the office and I just broke down crying and told them every little detail. The man was arrested and eventually sentenced to 25 years in prison. Since his mom was going through her own recovery process, Michael and his siblings were placed in a foster care. School became his way of escaping problems and he flourished academically. Michael graduated valedictorian of his high school class in Greensboro. Michael is now attending North Carolina State University and majoring in psychology. He has big dreams to one day establish his own shelter that supports individuals emotionally, financially, and spiritually. Michael stays, still stays in contact with his foster parent, Debbie. As you could imagine, she is proud to be a part of his journey to becoming a valedictorian. Everything happens for a reason, Michael said. I look at my experience as blessing rather than a curse because it's shaped who I am today. Stories like this is not uncommon and may be familiar to you. In the state of North Carolina, we continue to see a steady rise in children being placed in foster care. In 2013, around 9,000 children were in the foster care system. In 2019, there were almost 11,000 children in foster care. Unfortunately, with only 6,916 licensed foster homes in the state, there are not enough to meet the dire need. This morning, you received a bulletin insert, and you will see that Lutheran, Carolina, Lutheran Services Carolina is seeking to expand its care for these young people by creating a statewide foster care recruiting program. LSC is also looking to expand the intensive intensive alternative family treatment model into Western North Carolina, and a small amount of the campaign will be secured to needed technology for the case managers who spend most of their time in the communities, re relating directly to the families. Wouldn't you like to be a part of making this happen? So on Be the Light Sunday, I hope you will join me in generously supporting this important work that we're doing together in North Carolina. Thank you.